I'm Lisa Leyland and welcome to episode 22 of Honda Racing TV. In this episode we find out how the Honda Road Racing Team prepares for the legendary TT races. WTCR drivers Estepan Guerreri and Nestor Girolami tell us all about their friendship. And the Honda Endurance Racing Team riders are let loose with a GoPro at Le Mans. But first, the motocross riders may have impressive skills when they perform their whips and scrubs, but they need a bike to do this. We get the technical lowdown on the Honda CRF 450 RW. Team Geyser riding Honda TRF 450RV for uh, HRC team. My name is Marks Freitas. I'm in the HRC general manager for Honda and I'm um, MXGP World Championship. The bike we race with team is the CRF 450RW. It's a full factory bike. We run it with the Showa products on suspension. We run it with Yoshi, that give us a good products, you know, work together with Honda on R&D. And try to give a smoother power and good running during the race. It's always good collaboration between HRC team and Yoshi. We work together with Hinson Clutch. That's also give uh, us a good performance on the start. That is very really important for us. We have Pirelli, Moose and tires for all the races. Just one spec for almost all the rounds on the hard pack. We work with the Showa guys to get the bike uh, running on different way on sand than the hard pack. In the past, I was not so picky, but now, like uh, when I get more experience, I start to think a little bit more about the suspension setup on all the different kinds of tracks. Sometimes I don't even change, not even a little bit, but like sometimes if uh, the track is like getting rougher, quicker, we change to make more to make a bike a little bit more comfortable. On the bikes is almost all similar, a part of foot packs position, handbars bend, actually Tim use a fat bar and Brian Calvi use a twin O. Of course the 450 we have hydraulic clutch, so that's different levers of the 250, that's still cable clutch. We always try to reduce the weight on the bikes and with carbon parts you always try to get that bike light. So this is the main goal for all Japanese. The grips for the frame is for mud condition. We try to get our riders and bike more stick together and that help a lot because the riders can feel the bike under uh, their legs. And same we can do also with seat cover with different design with more grip on side uh, to try to keep the riders uh, together with the bike as soon as they open the throttle. Normally we have already good date space that we can start with and during the first free practice, you can start to do some changes on bike. I don't like to change quite a lot during the weekend. When we are doing like fast laps in the free practice and time practice, it's completely different than, than racing. As a team, HRC together give uh, the best bike to our riders with the best components to achieve our goal in the track. The bike we have right now is the best what we can give to them to do the, the best on the track as well. Argentine drivers Estepan Guerreri and Nesta Girolami are friends on and off track, but 2019 sees them as teammates. We caught up with them at the pre-season WTCR test. Hi guys, I'm Esteban Guerrieri, 
driving again in 2019 for the allinkel.com in the WTCR and now I want to introduce you my new friend and teammate from Argentina. Hello guys, thank you Esteban for introducing me. I'm Nestor Girolami from Argentina. Uh, I'm really happy to be part of Honda family. Everything started in 2014, do you remember? Yeah, yeah, we were dreaming there, man. We were, we were dreaming this moment. Yeah. In my house, sitting each other in front, yeah. talking about what, what will be our, our dream. Yeah. And it was living together in Barcelona, sharing the world championships in the same team. There is a good story that we can bring here, uh, which was when you were vice champion in Formula Renault, yeah. that you got the, the prize to come to race in, in Europe. You remember that you had the, the race in, uh, in Monza, eh? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was my first time that I met really, really you, because it, I didn't, uh, we, we didn't get a really good contact between us in, in the beginning. Of course, we know each other, but we don't have a relationship. We didn't have a relationship at this yeah, moment. Yeah, exactly. But then, when, then everything started when, when we sent an email to you and asked you if we can give me some details from Monza. And I, I remember that you wrote me like three pages, yeah. uh, corner by corner, uh, curve by curve. You sent different, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Was, well, that, that was your first time in Europe. It was my first time. And uh, you were asking me how, how, how difficult was Monza circuit because it was your debut in Formula Renault here. And I remember giving you all these details yeah. on, the, on the track, break here, turn here. Yeah, it was... In Parabolica, you remember? <laughs> yeah, and in Parabolica was really funny because in the first time that I drove there, I just go to the throttle and I think, this is gonna be impossible. But, Go flat out just in the moment that you see the photographer. Yeah, the photographer uh, in, the, in the top, in the yeah. right. So when I came out for the parabolica, I remember you told me you go flat out and trust that it's flat out since this point. And I say it's gonna be difficult to do flat On out. The photographer box. Yeah, <laughs> but then <laughs> in the second lap I just try and it was flat out. So yeah, yeah, man. You get, you I get. Was not, I was not lying. Yeah. That was, that was the proper reference. Yeah. When you get to the photographer post, yeah. you just go on power in parabolic and it will hold. That was a good one. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, it's so difficult for, for Argentinian drivers to come out for our country and to introduce in, in, in European categories. Yeah. And now we have the possibility to do together. And this is for me, is one of the, the biggest dreams that I achieved. He's a beagle. <laughs> you can say why I am the beagle. The beagle, you know why the beagle, guys? The beagle is the, the dog, you know? And the, this guy, the, the beagle, you know, is very perseverant. Very, very perseverant. Uh, why I know that? Because my wife has a beagle. And uh, this guy is very perseverant. And also at some time, uh, the beagle uh, gets a bit distracted, you know? <laughs> and he's a bit the, the personality like that. But then he comes back and then again, bam, 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 he keeps going. So there we go, the beagle. <laughs> no, yeah, obviously my, my aim is to win this championship, it's, it's clear. But uh, that's why I think I need you. And uh, in the same time, you need me. So we can push each other and whoever wins it, I mean, it's, it's good. I will be happy if, if you do it. I really want to win the championship together. Doesn't matter, of course, we have the, the ambition to win the championship each other, but we need to help each other to win the championship. If and at the end, I think the most important thing is to Honda win the championship. We have to bring the, Honda, the, the championship to Honda. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. we are sucked. The Isle of Man TT races is not just about the rider. There is also a strong team behind them. But how do they prepare for the gruelling two weeks on the island? 
We headed to Louth to find out. So after the TT uh, last year, normally we come back, have a bit of a break, and then get ourselves together, all the, the key stakeholders, and start discussing what we're going to be doing next. Last year we had Castle Coombe already booked in in the pipeline that we could apply anything that we were unsure about and we wanted to try out that come out of the TT. Some of those little hitches that perhaps you couldn't quite scratch when you were there. We weren't actually able to test everything that we wanted to. We had some engine specs and that sort of thing particularly that we wanted to try. And then, yeah, start of 2019, Dave Johnson comes on board, which is a great, um, great addition to the team. It's been great having in his input straight away. At Castle Coombe, he was uh, quick on the bike on our first spring test at the end of March. Yeah, and we ended up with a great test and I think some team best lap times there for us, which is yeah, a lovely situation to be in. Following on from Castle Coombe, we had the plan this year to get out racing before we actually go racing on the roads. So our destination was French Superbike. It's open tyre championships, so we were able to run the Dunlops, which was great for us as well. So we were actually testing like for like. And it's not just testing going around in circles, you're actually pushing on hard. Overall, it went really well for us, even though he did manage to um, get knocked off in the last race. He bounced well and he came off and actually he was just really angry that he wasn't able to race, which again, from a team manager's point of view, was great for me because I just saw that the fight's there and he's really, really up for it. So the ongoing development uh, from last year, from our side is uh, on the engine side. We've made a lot of work, uh, particularly around power delivery. We've been working on a package that the riders are feeling really comfortable with at the TT and that encourages them to be able to get on the gas earlier in the corners and hold it open without the front lifting over the bumps and really able to have a controllable, accurate bike. So we're really close to going racing now and everyone's starting to get those nerves as we're feeling it's getting closer and closer. It seems in the winter everyone's working away behind the scenes and all that you want to do is go racing and just want to get everything ready and in place to get going. Um, and then as soon as it's here, you think, oh, <laughs> and yeah, final prep now. And uh, yeah, everyone's really looking forward to it. The Honda Endurance Racing Team have been racing at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, and we got a different behind the scenes from the riders themselves. Keep an eye out for more race action coming soon to Honda Racing TV.